Another warm welcome. It's 14th of November 2018. This is all about Google Docs and mobile footnotes. Uh, this will be based on a short story of about five paragraphs with some examples. So let's get something started by going on to uh, the presentation part and I'm going to outline my rationale for doing this. So the first thing is that if we look at the actual update itself, I got it a couple of days ago we're mid-November, but it was the option to add footnotes. As I said, why not only that the Google Play, Google Docs update, but more importantly, my rationale. So for me personally, as you probably know, I've got a Lenovo laptop. It's 15 inches. I've got a 21-inch um, screen on the right-hand side as an extended desktop. However, if I'm out and about, I cannot see a reason why I take the laptop with me. Very, very unusual for me to take it. With that said, I've got a $100, £100 pound Moto G4, which sits nicely in a silicon case. This black cloth, by the way, is actually an ice skating towel from Decathlon. And my latest addition to my armory is an Artec... Uh, keyboard bluetooth keyboard which has about uh, seven different lights in it i'll put a link in the box in this video it's five millimeters thick that's my mobile office it's my mobile desk you can see that on the screen here the walk and the flying dog little short story thing as a demo is sitting there i don't need anything else so let's look at why footnotes might be important so the best way i've done this is to get some screen grabs rather than do a mobile screen recording. So left hand side here we've got the short story. Nothing difficult in that. We come to the bottom and we cannot see the footnote area because we must switch in print layout. We must switch on print layout to see anything. And you'll notice just snuck behind here is a footnote because we can see it. So how do we get there? So in the mobile document on print layout and full screen, we've got very clearly the title, the story, and some footnotes at the bottom. You'll notice that, let's have a look, um, here where I've got the, the laser pointer going, I've got mud, full stop one. That is a footnote that I've added. So really, this is just a, a true story you know, from me. But I wanted to say that there was a lady stuck in the mud, uh, reference point, essexfire.gov which is the incident where a lady was walking along a path and literally slipped up to her waist and got stuck needed to be rescued so that's what it actually looks like so then we go on and we say to ourselves if we wanted to add a footnote at any point so for example I've actually talked about a flying dog which is actually a red kite bird then I've gone over on mobile to Wikipedia and I've got a picture of the red kite which is the Wikipedia page and what the reference to the flying dog which is just a part of the story is from behind I saw this incredible uh, red kite and it looked like a flying dog. The point of it is, is that when we go in to add this, that red kite, the insertion point where my uh, where I tapped was just after the E of red kite. And then I could add that footnote and then you can see it add added at the bottom. Um, for instructions, we go to Android, tap edit, tap where you want to insert the footnote in the menu plus footnote type it really really easy remember we're working on mobile to get this and that quite honestly looks like the end of the whole story doesn't it really um, what can we say really what we can say is that I've refreshed my whole Windows 10 in the last previous couple of videos that is my mobile office that can go in my jacket pocket so can that and this thing is really really small so that was Google Docs add mobile footnotes it is another tool in the armory of working with free Google stuff on the move